Let's return to the news that relatives of Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich are marking the first anniversary of his detention in Russia. Mr. Gershkovich is the first American to be charged with spying by the Russian authorities since the end of the Cold War. The U.S. government and the Wall Street Journal have dismissed the charge. They say Mr. Gershkovich is being used as a bargaining chip by Moscow. Well, I'm joined now by Dr. Gulnoza Saeed from the Committee to Protect Journalists, an independent non-profit organization that promotes press freedom. Uh, Dr. Saeed, thank you very much for your time. What's the, the latest information, first of all, that you have on how Evan is doing? Thank you for having me. Uh, today is the first anniversary since Evan Gershkovich's detention in Moscow on absolutely bogus charges. And just a few days ago on March 26, the Russian authorities extended his detention by another three months, which means that he is going to stay in pretrial detention uh, until, unless, uh, until the end of uh, June, and uh, then we are hoping uh, that the trial will start. But uh, he is accused of espionage, as you said, and this is a very heavy charge, and espionage charges uh, usually end with conviction in Russia. So he is very likely to be convicted. He is looking into uh, up to 20 years in uh, Russian jail. What do you read into that extension of the pre-trial detention, though, rather than moving closer to the actual trial? Could it indicate that conversations to try to uh, free Evan Gershkovich are actually uh, making some progress or at least are remaining very active? I hope they are remaining uh, very active and I hope that we are close to the moment when he will be uh, released and uh, returned to the United States and uh, to his uh, family, to his parents and sibling. But uh, everything we know from previous uh, trials of journalists accused of espionage uh, is that usually uh, pre-trial detentions are very long, uh, followed by trials uh, hel held behind closed doors. So I think the most likely scenario is that Evan is tried and convicted first before uh, the U.S. and Russian authorities agree on the prisoner exchange. How difficult is it for journalists in Russia at the moment to, to go about their business, to work, given the, the current climate? Look, it's never been easy to be an independent reporter in Putin's Russia. Putin has been uh, in power for close to a quarter of a century. And from the beginning, he uh, made it his goal to control the flow of information. Uh, but until Evans' uh, detention a year ago, uh, foreign correspondents who worked in Russia, although knew they were at risk, they probably didn't expect some, something as harsh as espionage charges, uh, because we know of other cases of journalists, including uh, BBC correspondents who were not very, uh, who did not feel very welcome, especially after Russia started its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. But with Evans' case, the Russian authorities uh, send a signal that nothing is uh, beyond their whims, beyond their control, and everything is possible. As you know, Evans' case is the first case of an American journalist uh, charged with espionage in Russia since uh, the end of the Cold War. So now every journalist, uh, foreign or local, is at risk of immediate imprisonment uh, in Russia. Okay, Dr. Gulnoza Said from the Committee to Protect Journalists, joining us from New York. Thank you very much. Thank you.